দর্শক মণ্ডলী ওয়াশিংটন ডিসির অদূরে অনুষ্ঠিত হচ্ছে দক্ষিণ এশীয় চলচ্চিত্র উৎসব এবং সেই উৎসবে বেশ কিছু গুরুত্বপূর্ণ চলচ্চিত্র পরিচালক এবং অভিনেতা উপস্থিত রয়েছেন তার মধ্যে রয়েছেন ভারতের অন্যতম গুরুত্বপূর্ণ চলচ্চিত্র পরিচালক শ্যাম বেনেগাল সত্তরের দশকে শুরু থেকেই তিনি চলচ্চিত্র তৈরি করছেন এবং তার আগে থেকেই তিনি এই ধারায় কাজ শুরু করেছিলেন অ্যাডভার্টাইজিংয়ের কাজ তিনি করছিলেন এবং তারপর আস্তে আস্তে তিনি চলচ্চিত্রে চলে আসেন সত্তরের দশকের গোড়ার দিকে তার প্রথম ছবি ছিল অঙ্কুর তিনি ভারতের অনেক বড় বড় অভিনেতাকে নিয়ে কাজ করেছেন কথা বলছি শ্যাম বেনেগালের সাথে শ্যাম বেনেগাল ওয়েলকাম টু আর শো well good to be here uh, thank you very much for giving us your precious time uh, in washington dc uh, this film festival attracting all these um, interested audience from all kind of uh, like bangladesh india and also americans are coming to watch your film and other people's film um, how do you see this well you know it's a very uh, interesting uh, thing because manoj singh who started this festival this is the first of its kind and it's uh, the first south asian film festival here in the metro area of washington dc the important thing of course is this being the first year of course the choice of films may not be that many but eventually is hoping to have films from bangladesh from nepal from sri lanka from pakistan as well as from india so which will make it a very representative selection of south asian cinema and uh, actually i think that's how it's going to function eventually just now of course there are films only largely from india and the one film i'm told from south africa but uh, by and large i think you know when once we include all of that then you'll get a real picture of what south asian cinema is actually because it's a very significant part of the world as far as cinema is concerned and it also is the largest you know there's no no larger film industry and if you put all of them together it's formidable because you know if you think of the number of films that are being made in bangladesh today or nepal even and sri lanka and pakistan and of course india as you well know make more than 1000 films a year so we have a huge nam huge output of films from our sub, uh, from south asia uh, you started with uh, ankur uh, your fiction film and you were born in hyderabad right how did you become interested in film when i became interested in film the moment i set my eyes on a film which was very early in life you see my father was a uh, still photographer and that was his profession but he was also a very keen amateur uh, movie maker enthusiast he had a 16 mm movie camera and he used to wander about shooting anything that took his fancy and he put all of that together and his children would made to watch those films because that was our entertainment at home you know after the entertainment particularly when we used to have guests for dinner was these these films that my father had made and among those films were any number of films made about his own children each child has a film he made films about each each one of his many children he had many his 10 children so <coughs> 10 children had 10 10 separate films of their own so that was the initial uh, kind of uh, entry so you have nine brothers and sisters yes and your number i'm six number six six in the in the line anyway so we we used to see films at home but in a cinema the very first time i saw a film was when i was about six years old and that was an american film called get the cat people and uh, that was a horror film but uh, i was completely taken by that because suddenly for me uh, cinema opened itself up as something so extraordinary because it created a world of its own and anybody who made a film make well, who became a filmmaker was like a god creating a world are you talking about uh, 50s or f- oh i'm like? talking about the early 40s but don't forget i'm in my late 70s you don't look that <laughs> well 
<laughs> anyway, so the, I was very, uh, I mean, very small when I first saw. Actually, with more hair on your head, you look younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so that's the that's how it all started, and that stuck in my mind, and that was the ambition I carried all my life from then, that I wanted to be a filmmaker. But it could only become real when I had a genuine source of uh, uh, somebody who had succeeded uh, in front of me, close to me. And that happened in the form of uh, Gurudat, who happened to be a filmmaker. He was my cousin. And uh, he used to live in Calcutta. And uh, uh, his family, that is his parents, my aunt, and her family, they used to live in Calcutta. And Who can forget? Kagas Ke Fool and yeah, Piyasa. Many, many films, starting with Bazi, with Devanand. And Sah Sahib Bibi Aul Ghulam. Yes, yes. So he, 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 when he made his first film, he was only about 24 or 25. And, uh, and I got, because he was 10 years older than me, and uh, I was most uh, taken by the fact that he here was a filmmaker. Uh, within my own family and that gave me heart although where I was growing up in Hyderabad there was not a, not a shred of filmmaking anywhere close by at that time today of course Hyderabad has become a huge uh, uh, filmmaking center where most of the Telugu films are made in Hyder uh, Andhra Pradesh are made in Hyderabad uh, but at that time there was nothing and uh, so the only places one could go to to make films was either to go to Bombay or to go to Calcutta or to go to Madras. Uh, and of course, that was not feasible when I was growing up. But, uh, but my, I made my way into uh, film by coming to Bombay to start, uh, you know, to find an opening for, for a career. And I joined advertising, which was the easiest way for me because there was no film school. And I learnt by doing, which was starting to make advertising films. And uh, so I learnt everything. I learnt to camera work, I learnt uh, uh, things about lenses, uh, storytelling, scripting, uh, on acting, direction, editing, post-production, everything that you could possibly learn and needed to learn about filmmaking, I learnt by doing. 